friends, today's crochet tutorial will be for the Crochet Mini Santa Hut. A list of supplies used, as well as a link to the free written pattern, will be in the description box below. If you have suggestions for future tutorials, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of future crochet tutorials. I upload a new crochet tutorial every Friday. Now let's get into this tutorial. For this tutorial, I will be using Mainstay's Basic Yarn, which I purchased from my local Walmart. I will be using the colors red and the color white. I will also be using a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook as well as a pom-pom maker. It measures from side to side two inches and top to bottom is about one and a half inches. We will start by using our white yarn and our pom-pom maker. We will just make a pom-pom using the directions that came with your pom-pom maker. We will begin with our red yarn. We will begin with a slip knot and we will make a chain two. We will then work six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. We will place our stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. For rounds 2 through 10, we will place one single crochet in each stitch around. We will have a total of 6 single crochets in each round. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the end of round 10. This is what your work should look like at round 11. For round 11, we will work one single crochet increase in each of the first four stitches. Single crochet increase is two single crochets in the same stitch. followed by one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. We will move our stitch marker up one round into our new last stitch. We will have a total of 10 single crochets at the end of round 11. For round 12, we will work one single crochet increase in the first stitch followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. We will continue working one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch until we reach the end of this round. We will have 15 single crochets at the end of round 12. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. For this round, we will work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches, followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue working one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, followed by one single crochet increase in the next stitch until we reach the end of this round. We will have 20 single crochets at the end of round 13. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. For this round, we will work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue this sequence of one single crochet in each of the next three stitches followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch until we have reached the end of this round. We will have 25 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. For this round, we will work one single crochet in each of the first four stitches, followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. 
We will continue working this sequence of one single crochet in each of the next four stitches followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch until we have reached the end of this round. We will have 30 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round 15. For round 16, we will place one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will repeat this sequence of one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch until we have reached the end of this round. We will have 35 single crochets at the end of round 16. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. For round 17, we will begin by placing one single crochet in each of the first six stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue this sequence of one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch until we have reached the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round 17. To begin round 18, we will work one single crochet in each of the first seven stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue this sequence of one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch until we have reached the end of this round. We will have a total of 45 single crochets at the end of round 18. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. We will begin round 19 by working one single crochet in each of the first eight stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue working this sequence of one single crochet in each of the next eight st stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch until we have reached the end of this round. We will have 50 single crochets at the end of round 19. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. This is our last increase round. For round 20, we will work one single crochet in each of the first nine stitches. followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue this sequence of one single crochet in each of the next nine stitches, followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch until we have reached the end of round 20. We will have a total of 55 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the end of round 20. We will now finish off our red yarn and join our white. For rounds 21, 22, and 23, we will place one single crochet in each stitch around. We will have a total of 55 single crochets for each round, round 21, 22, and 23. Pause the video here and meet me back when you've reached the end of round 23. When we finish round 23, we will finish off our yarn and weave in our ends. We will then attach our pom-pom. The way I made my tip of my hat fold over like this, I just took a little piece of yarn 
and just sewed it. I weaved it in here and just sewed it to this side. Just tied it and attached it. Just made it curved over. But you can leave it up if you want. You don't have to curve it over. But just finish off your yarn. Attach your pom-pom. And if you want, give the hat that little curve at the top. And you're finished. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of future tutorials. I upload a new crochet tutorial every Friday. Happy crocheting!